Today with the creators of Holy Shit, a documentary on how our shit can feed the world. Welcome, Fides and Jana. And it's a, a research book from a hundred years ago where a Mr. King, it's a scientist uh, from America, goes to the area of China and Japan and Korea and looks at how it's possible that so many people are being fed here uh, with, uh, with and, and the soil stays healthy. He found two, two uh, yeah, findings. One was they use their own poo and pee in a very great, uh, fast uh, transport system with very hygienic ways of doing it. And secondly, they appreciate shit, their own shit. It was so that if you would hand in your shit, you would have to pay less rent. Uh, it's such a great solution to so many big problems. And it's something that we all do. Like we are shit producers in this world where everything is uh, like falling apart. You feel hopeless. I can create something myself. I don't have to do much. I do it every day already. If you eat right, <laughs> um, I can produce like soils. I think we also have to look at a global scale that actually there's a lot of innovation and already a uh, change in this, but you so, see also a lot of um, yeah, people being held back. Uh, for example, in the Netherlands, we are actually not really doing well in, in the shit uh, way. And in a lot of ways, we're not doing we're, we're, very we're well. We're deep in the shit, yeah. <laughs> we can do in much deep better. Shit, yeah. We have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of possibilities. They actually really want to do something with it. There's also farmers who have already circular toilets in her place and already used uh, the compost, but not on the garden to grow plants, but in different ways, for example, to feed the soil. So there are indirect ways already that they're building the infrastructure that is needed to actually bring in the shit of humans to eventually really feed the soil in a way that we actually can grow plants that people eat. But they're already starting to build it in different ways. So composting other materials. I make compost out of it with a cooperation of farmers where we rent the machines together. Feed the soil, that's where how I can get a little bit of income. I produce food, that's another part where I can get a little bit of income. So it's a great way that you shift the mindset of a farmer. No, my, my main source is not only producing food, but taking care of the soil. So I can create a societal place for myself where I create healthy soils that contain water well, that uh, are actually equipped for the climate change that we're facing. A good investment would be to already start making circular toilets in new buildings, which are going to be built in a great scale in the coming years. So uh, we see that as sort of the main uh, sort of entry point. And of course, the circular sanitation, you have a centralized way of um, getting it all into in one tank. And then, for example, it can be, we already have infrastructure for uh, uh, getting trash or waste, again, with a uh, uh, into uh, in, in, in vehicles already out of the city. So there are already ways of transporting, for example, these kind of nutrients to the land. So actually with the city, you can feed the land again. So it becomes also more connected in that way.